Right, we've got Ian Selly here after our credible 2-2 draw away at Hayes and Yedin. Um, can you just give me your general thoughts about the whole game? Yeah, I thought we were we were much, much better today. Obviously, the conditions were pretty tough. It was pretty wet, very, very windy. Um, I thought we were definitely the better side over both halves, I think. Um, yeah, I think we're disappointed how we conceded the two goals. Um, yeah, there's things we still obviously need to work on, but uh, I thought the lads really dug in. Um, you know, and deservedly got a point out of it, but I think we're a little bit def deflated that we, you know, probably should have done better and, and, and got all three. But um, you know, it's just it was just good to have a, a proper positive performance today. Yeah, a little bit unlucky on the first goal. I think the re referee impeded us in getting the ball back and then let that go on. So uh, that like the sort of ref, but he definitely gave them a, a head goal, a, a goal head start for sure. Yeah. I mean, your feelings on the bench when that sort of thing happens for you? Do you start thinking, God, is it going to be like another Saturday? You know? Yeah, no, it's hard sometimes because obviously we've had a bit of a rough ride the last couple of weeks. Um, but when something like that does happen, you sort of think, Christ, you know, you're trying to sort of turn things around and. You know, even the referees getting in the way for certain aspects, but you know, it was definitely at fault for the first goal. But we spoke to him at half time, and if the, he stopped the ball, uh, I think five minutes before that, but the ball hit him, which means he can um, stop the game. But because the ball didn't hit him, he got in where the player um, he felt that he didn't have to stop the game, so um, you know, but it definitely cost us a, a goal. You know, I think at that moment in time, we were well on top and, and enjoying the game, and uh, you know, the game sort of spun around quite quickly. But, um, but no, it was uh, Hayes and Yellow a good side, they'll be in amongst it in the season. Um, but I think that I should take a lot of uh, confidence and positivity out of that because I think we made them um, you know, look ordinary at times. I thought we were quite good, you know, especially second half against the wind, against the rain. You know, it was very, very difficult, but um, yeah, we tinkered with the formation slightly in personnel and uh, got back in the game. I thought it was going to be a game of two halves, in all honesty, with the wind really heavy one way. And uh, basically the second half, I think we gave as good as what they gave, in all honesty, and you know, thoroughly deserved. 2-2 uh, draw. I mean, what were your thoughts about that second goal conceded? Uh, I think that was down our right hand side, wasn't it? I think, yeah, we. I think, yeah, we spoke to, to Marco. He's just been clumped by the left back. He had an opportunity to go through the left back on the halfway line, didn't. And then Jordan had a bit of an opportunity and um, he didn't. Um, yeah, and also they broke forward and scored from it. So these these little things. I think the senior senior players would probably take someone out on the halfway line and the goal doesn't doesn't happen but um, yeah, we're still working with quite a young group and they're, they're still learning but, uh, but yeah I think I think yeah we've still got lots to work on uh, the training ground um, but uh, I'm just glad the fact that they they, they they put a lot of effort in today and um, you know at times I thought we were quite comfortable but you know so the conditions dictated really the, the state of the game was going to go in you know, sort of one of those that we need just to get in uh, get the points in the bag and go you know um, you know, it's very, very windy, and you know, when the rain's about, it's not so bad. You play in the rain, but when the wind, wind affects both teams, you know, so um, it was a little bit scrappy at times. But you know, it was, a, it was a much, much better performance than we have been playing in the past. I think the supporters sort of told you that. I think you could hear them behind the goal, willing us on to get that second goal. And to be fair, try and nick the third. Uh, I think the third probably was a goal, um, but I think it would be. I don't know if they thought it was offside or not, but I think we'd, we could have nicked that game three two. Yeah, I, th I think we was offside quite a few times uh, along the front line, which is a little bit disappointing because we was in good positions to get crosses in. And, and, yeah, we sort of knockdowns in the 18-yard box. And I think again, you know, whether we've got a few young lads in the team that have just drifted offside. I think if they if they're clever enough to be onside, they get opportunities to score goals. You know, so you know it's all a bit of a learning curve. But um, you know, it's something that again that we'll be working on. You know, we've worked hard recently in the training sessions. Uh, we've worked very very hard to recruit new players as well because the squad is a little bit thin at the moment. We've had suspensions and injuries. Um, you know, so sometimes these things can take a, a week or two to get players on board. And uh, but uh, yeah, we're working as hard as we can to make it right. What can supporters expect in the next week or so in players coming back or availability? Can you sort of update us on any of them? Yeah, well, the boys that are suspended can play on Tuesday, so they'll get minutes on Tuesday. Tom Kavanagh, Tom Kavanagh, uh, Lucas, and Cerny, they'll get games on Tuesday. Uh, and then um, Cerny's not available for Saturday, uh, but Lucas and um, Cavs are. So yeah, we've got a couple of uh, experienced players coming back into the team. I think Cerny's available after Saturday. So um, yeah, we, we've got a new forward coming in uh, for Tuesday, so we'll get some of this Tuesday. 
Um, but like I say, we are we are working hard behind the scenes to recruit players. Um, you know, it's been a little bit difficult at times because players want a million pounds to come over, um, but we want to make sure it's the right person for the right money. So you know, we won't just go blase and spend what you know we haven't got and, and put ourselves in a situation. So um, yeah, hopefully in the next sort of week we're going to get another two players on board. Definitely one's coming in Tuesday, but hopefully another one before the weekend. Interesting. We go up two spots today with a draw, which is another positive thing. And you've got to look at the reason is that we got an A plus, and a lot of clubs around us were all on minus. So it's positive going forward. I'm sure you're going to have a better Saturday evening with the misses. I don't know if you've rang her already. Get that wine bottle out, and I'm ready for it because I can't imagine what you must have felt like last week. But uh, just quickly, we got Abbey Rangers in the Southern Combination Cup on Tuesday night and that was always earmarked to give some of our youngsters a little run out and a taste of first team football along with some squad guys that need um, football in time so you know can you sort of to, that, we know that ain't going to be easy because that'd be right to see, yeah. it will be like a cup final for them and uh, you know probably it's not going to be our strongest squad out there on uh, Tuesday night so thoughts ahead of that one yeah well we've had obviously Abbey are a strong side obviously it's where my academy train as well uh, through the weeks so obviously if we don't beat them I'll get a little bit of stick there but um, yeah we had the games penned in for the under 18s uh, team to play in it um, and that was the case up until last week but now they've got two fixtures next week so there's going to be a mix uh, of probably five 18s uh, and and we use some squad players and we use the boys that have been suspended as well so um, we'll, we'll be fairly strong on Tuesday so um, I think it's important we, you know we played well today I think Tuesday even though it's a lower rank competition we want to make sure we've got a strong side and win the game so I think it's important to get into winning habits again and 